Let's be real here. It doesn't take a genius to see Severus Snape's dislike for Harry Potter. Despite being the underlying secret hero the whole time who was trying to protect Harry, we all know he didn't like him that much. Now, Snape is known for his cold and often hostile treatment of students, particularly Harry Potter. His behaviour towards Harry can be seen as harsh, unfair and even abusive at times. The reasons for Snape's poor treatment of Harry are complex and rooted to his past, his present circumstances and his own personal motivations. In today's video, we will explore the reasons as to why Snape treats Harry so badly and looks at him with a hatred at times. So to understand why Snape behaves the way he does, we must first consider his past. Snape's childhood was marked by poverty, neglect and abuse. He grew up in a rundown house in Spinner's End, a rough neighbourhood in the wizarding village of Cockworth. His parents were both neglectful and abusive and his father was an alcoholic who frequently beat him. This traumatic upbringing left Snape with deep emotional scars and a tendency towards bitterness and resentment. Before this video continues, I have to give a massive thank you to Jam City, the developers of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, for sponsoring today's video. You can download the game for free on your mobile device or your tablet by using my link below or scanning the QR code on screen. Guys, I always say, I will not take a sponsorship unless I feel it's beneficial to my audience so Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery was a no-brainer. Any chance to spread the love of this franchise to more people, you can bet I will be the one to do it. In Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, you can place yourself into a world of magic, choose your character, customize the features, choose your house and live out many magical moments as a Hogwarts student. There's a lot of freedom in relation to character customization, so make sure to have fun with it. Progress through the story, by mastering new spells and potions, duel other students. See all your favourite characters like Albus Dumbledore, Severus Snape, Hagrid, the Weasley twins and many more. As a Slytherin myself, I do take a lot of pride in my ambition and resourcefulness. I love trying out the cool green themed outfits and the dorm decor I've unlocked. Plus, it's nice actually being on Snape's good side for once. The whole reason I started this Harry Potter channel was because of how much the books captivated me. So the fact I can just pick up my phone or tablet and enter the wizarding world is an incredible feeling. And what I enjoyed most about this game was the fact that it doesn't go stale. There's always something to do. And with new story chapters added every month, you're always going to continue to develop your character throughout the game. One more thing guys, please play Quidditch. It's so much fun. Trust me, play some Quidditch, you'll see what I mean. Once again, I'd like to thank Jam City for sponsoring today's video and remind you all that you can experience all the wonders and magic of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery for free on your mobile device or tablet today by using my link below or scanning the QR code on screen. It didn't get much easier as his early experiences with bullying and rejection at Hogwarts only aided to his sense of alienation and resentment. He was sorted into Slytherin, the house known for producing dark wizards, and was immediately ostracised by his fellow students for his poor hygiene, his gloomy demeanour and his interest in the dark arts. Snape eventually became friends with a group of like-minded students, including Lucius Malfoy and Bellatrix Lestrange, and began to experiment with dark magic. This only served to deepen his isolation and sense of seclusion from the rest of the student body. Lucius Malfoy was a few years ahead of Snape at school and looked out for him, something Snape never forgot. When Snape first met Harry Potter, he saw him in the physical embodiment of his childhood bully, James Potter. James had tormented Snape during their time at Hogwarts and Snape had never forgotten or forgiven him for it. To Snape, Harry was a reminder of everything he hated about James, his arrogance, his popularity, his disregard for the rules and authority. He also saw in Harry the potential for greatness, something he had always longed for but had never been able to achieve. He did have the skill, there's no question about that, but in terms of greatness, well, that's a different situation for Snape. So Snape's hatred of James Potter and his identification of Harry with his father can help explain his hostile treatment of the boy. He sees in Harry everything he despises and resents about his own past, and he takes out his anger and frustration on him, which is really, really wrong. Snape was a lot worse in the books, guys, I mean, 
The movies do not represent just how mean he was. However, there is more to the man's behaviour towards Harry than just his personal history and animosity towards James. Snape is also deeply involved in the conflict between the Death Eaters and the Order of the Phoenix. As a former Death Eater himself, he is trying to atone for his past mistakes by spying on Voldemort and working for Dumbledore. He sees Harry as a key player in this conflict as Voldemort's prophesized nemesis and the one person who can defeat him. Snape is therefore invested in Harry's success but also wary of him as he knows that Voldemort is trying to kill him. He knows Voldemort wants to kill this young boy whose life has just barely begun. This dual role as both Harry's ally and his enemy helps explain some of Snape's behaviour towards him. He is torn between his desire to protect Harry and his obligation to keep him at arm's length for fear of arousing suspicion among the Death Eaters. This leads him to be secretive, harsh and often cruel towards Harry as he tries to balance his conflicting loyalties and obligations without getting emotionally involved because don't forget, Snape's real motivation for Voldemort's downfall is because of what he did to Lily. His personal history, his involvement in the conflict between the Death Eaters and the Order of the Phoenix and his own insecurities and self-doubt all contribute to his behaviour towards Harry. Now, while his treatment of Harry can be seen as harsh and unfair, it is important to remember that Snape is a flawed and complicated character and that his behaviour is not simply the result of malice or cruelty and it is worth noting that Snape's treatment of Harry changes over time. As the series progresses, we see Snape gradually become more sympathetic towards the boy and even risk his own life to protect him. This evolution of the relationship is a testament to JK Rowling's skill as a writer and to the complexity and depth of her characters. With that being said, his discipline is not entirely unjustified. Harry is often disrespectful towards Snape and frequently breaks school rules, which can be frustrating for any teacher who takes their job seriously, something Snape obviously does. Additionally, Harry is often in the company of Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, two students who Snape almost equally dislikes and sees as troublemakers. He thinks Ron is a lost cause and he thinks Hermione Granger a know-it-all who loves flaunting her superior intelligence and knowledge over the other students. Now guys, it is also important to remember that Snape is an adult and that his behaviour towards a student, regardless of their behaviour, is inappropriate and potentially harmful. It is never acceptable for a teacher to belittle, insult or physically grab a student, no matter how frustrating their behaviour may be. It is also important to consider the impact that Snape's treatment of Harry may have had on him. Harry is an orphan who has already experienced trauma and loss and Snape's harsh treatment may have further damaged his self-esteem and sense of belonging. In fact, we see evidence of this in the series as Harry struggles to understand why Snape is so hostile towards him and begins to doubt his own worth as a result. This is not how any person should feel and Snape of all people should know this as he's basically making Harry feel how he did a common trait in a bully. In a way, his actions contributed to the toxic culture at Hogwarts where certain students are favoured while others are marginalised and mistreated. This dynamic can have serious consequences both for the students involved and for the wider community and as readers ourselves. It is okay to hold all characters accountable for their actions no matter how popular they may be and recognise that the characters in the series, like real people, are capable of both good and bad behaviour. Finally, it is worth noting that Snape's behaviour towards Harry is not exactly an isolated incident but rather a reflection of a broader issue within the Wizarding World. We all know how Snape highly favoured Slytherin students and bent the rules in order to push his house forward in terms of success like gaining additional house points. Throughout the series we see evidence of prejudice, discrimination and unequal treatment based on factors such as blood status, house affiliation and personal connections. These issues are not limited to the fictional world of Harry Potter but are also present in our own world. As readers we should strive to recognise and challenge these injustices both in fiction and reality. Ultimately, the relationship between Snape and Harry is one of the most fascinating and complex in the series. It highlights the importance of understanding and also the importance of realising and accepting empathy even for characters we may dislike or disagree with. Now let's be honest here guys, we may not always agree with the actions of our favourite characters 
but we can still strive to understand and appreciate the nuance of their motivations and their history. The series as a whole raises important questions about power, privilege and justice and challenges us to consider our own values and beliefs. This is why I believe there is nothing wrong with continuing to read Harry Potter books. It's the lessons we take from these books that can truly help us feel more accepted no matter how different we may feel we are. And with that being said guys, that is my video on why Snape looks at Harry with so much hate. Thank you for watching, make sure to check out the next video because it just might be a little bit better than this one.